Hello everyone, welcome back to Dead Zone Gaming for another video, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. Ladies and gentlemen, we have hopefully a helpful video for you today, because in today's video I'm going to show you guys a couple of spots that you can make a little extra cash. Now, one of them is going to be what I believe to be one time per lobby, or per session. Now I have tried to do it by switching sessions after doing it one time and can't seem to get it to work again. So I don't know if maybe it's uh, it, the spawns are on a timer or what. But anyway, the uh, first location we are going to go to is first of all, you need to be in Lemoyne. Uh, and the first location we're going to go to here is just north of Rhodes. And it's going to be up here by Maddock Pond, and there's this little farm here. And uh, we are going to go over here, and I will show you guys what to do when we get there. So I got a little bit of a distance to travel, but I will see you when I get there. Okay, so I've arrived over at the farm. Again, it's right on this location, just north of Rhodes, and a little bit above Maddock Pond. Uh, so right in this spot here, I'll zoom all the way out so you can see exactly where it is. So, what we are going to do here is... If you can hear it, there are some cattle around here. So you can see there's some there. Um, there's some more in here. So usually, this is a decent spot to... Uh, get some meat that you can cook and save, but we are going to use this as a money-making opportunity, and we are actually going to sell that meat. So what we're going to do is we are going to get out our lasso here, and we have a Florida Cracker cow here. So we are going to lasso the cow, and we are going to kill it, and then... We are basically just going to skin the cow, and we will get the pelt, which you can also keep. And then as you're going to see here, we are going to get prime beef joints. And so that's what we are looking for. That's what we want, so I don't know why my horse is running away. Uh, horse, hello? What is going on here? Uh... I'm just going to set this right here. I'll pick it up in a moment. We're going to take that with us. So we are going to go kill a, another one of these guys. They all seem to be three stars, which is really good. So we're going to get another one of these guys here, and we're going to skin him. Oh, now the horse decides to come in here. Go figure. Alright, so I'm just going to put this on here, but it's going to give us another five prime beef joints. And so we are going to kill one more of these guys. And we're going to skin them again. These were all three stars. That's super cool. And that is going to give us five more prime beef joints. So now, basically, we need just to kill one more in order to get a maxed out prime beef joints. So if there are any left, and there are not, there were some in here, but they despawned. That's what happens. That's the only thing that kind of sucks with this. Sometimes they despawn. Uh, and if I would have knowing they were going to despawn, I wouldn't have killed them all. But basically, the way you can maximize this is get all of the prime beef joints you can possibly get. And then if there is an extra cow, you can drag one with you to roads, and that way you can have five extra beef joints to sell, as well as an extra pelt. So we're going to go over to roads and sell this stuff. Alright, so we made it to the butcher, so again, if you manage to be able to fill it up and then drag an extra cow over here, you can make a little extra money off it. But right now we have 15 of them and they sell 
a total for of six seventy five at forty five cents a piece. So that's a decent little amount of cash, and then two dollars for a pelt. So if you can drag another one over, you'll make an extra an extra two bucks off pelt. So that's a really good quick way to make a little bit of money. Again, I can't seem to get it to work if I hop lobbies. It just seems like the spawns are on like a timer for some reason, but. Anyway, we are going to move on to the second location, which is an even better location to make some money. Okay, so, I don't know why I just opened the map. So we are at our next location, and it is super close to that farm we were at before. It is right here at Ringneck Creek. Here's the farm that we were at. In Ringneck Creek, this is a super, super uh, awesome way to make a little bit of extra money. You're going to be able to sell smallmouth bass and get some extra money here. So we are in this precise location. It's just below the G in the N. Uh, but what we are going to do is we are going to go down here, and you can see this, this flat rock formation right here, and then you can see where there is another little spot that branches off there. So what we're going to do is... There's a deer over there. That's cool. Uh, anyway, we are going to get out our fishing rod here and equip our, li our liver lure. Our river lure or special river lure. Really, it doesn't matter. Um, but then what you're going to want to do is just kind of stand here for about a minute and maybe even I like to throw my my line out in the water if you can find a spot to do it you can kind of toss your line out in the water and then bring it back in uh, but just kind of hang out here for a minute or so you may even want to move up a little bit to these boulders here um, and then you can kind of toss your line out just like you saw me do right there but we're just gonna chill here for a minute again so, as you can see, after standing over there for about a minute or so, uh, I started walking up the creek, and you can see there is a bass right here on the shore, just beached itself here. So, you can pick these guys up, and if you wait a little longer, if you're a little patient with it, you can manage to get a whole bunch more of these guys. Uh, as you can see, there's another one right here that beached itself. But sometimes this method works, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you just have to be a little patient with it. But you can usually get quite a few of them. And it does work a lot better if, uh, you can, if you're at nighttime so you can see a little better. You can see there's a couple more right here that we can go ahead and pick up. So we're going to pick this guy up. I believe there's another one right here too. Yep. And if we keep walking down here, I see another one. So just there within about 30 seconds or so after I put away my fishing rod, I have five smallmouth bass. Oh, and here's another one right below my feet, apparently. Which I can't pick up for some reason. Where's he at? Oh, he's right there. There he is. You can see he's right there on the rocks. But So now we have six smallmouth bass in just that little bit of time so you can keep walking down the uh down the stream here and see if you can see any more you can see there's a couple more right over here and again it works a little better if it's nighttime because you can see them a lot better so i believe this is number seven and then number eight And you just basically just keep walking down about as far as I'm at right now is about where you want to stop. I don't think any more are really going to spawn up here, but you can keep going if you want to, to see if you get any more. So I'm going to go back to the spot again and see if I can get any more to spawn. All right, so I'm back here. So again, I'll show you guys where I'm at right here in this location just a little bit above this little black spot here uh but go ahead and get out your fishing rod
and then uh, get your bait out and then just kind of wait around for a minute. All right, so I've been standing here for about a minute or so, so let's just walk down. Keep your uh, keep your fishing rod out until you find some, but let's kind of walk down here and see if we can see any more. I see one right there floating away. Uh, as you can see, here's some more, right? A whole bunch more. You can see there's three more right here. So what we could do is we'll pick this guy up. I think this is number nine. I could be wrong. Hold on. Let me check my satchel here. Uh, so that's eight. So then we'll pick up a ninth one. Oh, harvested the max amount. Okay, so apparently that's ten. So now, since I have the max amount of perfect uh, smallmouth bass that it can hold, we're going to be able to make a little bit of extra money here if we just stomp the fish. So, sometimes it's kind of hard to get this to work. But, uh, if you can stomp the fish, or you can shoot it too. Uh, that's a shotgun. Let me use this. If you can't get the stomp to work, you can shoot the fish. And then pick it up, and it should turn it into a poor carcass. And then you should be able to collect ten more of those. So you'll be able to maximize your money a little bit more. You see there, I stomped it that time. Sometimes the stomp works, sometimes it doesn't. But I can pick up some more here. I can grab another poor carcass. And we can just go back down again. Just do the same thing here. So let me try to... Can I not stomp that guy? So I need to shoot him. That's not what I wanted to do. I gotta find him first. I can't see him. So I'm gonna shoot him and pick him up. So I'm gonna go through here and I'm going to pick up the remaining fish. Alright, so I have now made it to that, that stopping point that I showed you about. Showed you about. I can't even speak. So we started about here. And then we ended about here, and I picked up roughly 10 fish or so, maybe a little more. But as you can see, we have 10 perfect and 8 poor. And what you can also do if you want to is break these down and then do it again so you can make even more money out of them. All right, so we've arrived at the butcher here, and we are now going to sell all of our fish, and you, we are going to get $6.40 out of the eight poor smallmouth bass, and we are going to get $20 out of the 10 perfect smallmouth bass. And if you broke some down and got 10 more, you will then, of course, make even more money. So... It's a really, really good way to make a little cash. All right, everyone. So there you have it. There are a couple of ways to make a little extra cash. Now, the first method, again, I can only seem to get it to work like once every hour maybe. But the fish method, you can basically rinse and repeat as many times as you want uh, because the fish seem to keep spawning no matter what. I haven't had the fish not spawn. Now, I've that happens to you guys please leave a comment down below uh and let me know but from all accounts of what i've done the fish method actually works really really well so again let me just show you really quick here on the map you want to go down to ringneck creek and the farm right down here so that is basically it for me thank you guys so much for watching hope you enjoyed this video hope it was helpful to help you guys make a little money in Red Dead Online. I know it's kind of tough to make money in this game. And uh, I don't have a ton of money, but I'm definitely getting up there $3,600. Uh, so I got a little bit of cash on hand, and it's taken a long time to grind up that far. But hopefully these methods helped you guys in making a little bit extra cash. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. You can follow me on Twitter. The link for that is in the description down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!
Catch up to love, I can never tell. I don't know. 